Flo, Fran Kirby was the inaugural winner of the Women's Footballer of the Year Award in 2018. Do you think she was the right choice for this honour? Yeah, I mean, it's been an interesting and, and really difficult few years for Fran. But at that point in time, yeah, definitely. Um, I suppose she was at her sort of peak, um, if you could say that. But I think, you know, she's still quite young, so she will be building back up towards that. Um, you know, it's not like she's uh, in the latter days of her career at all. But that was at a point where she was playing extremely well for Chelsea. Um, and as the inaugural winner, it was definitely the right fit. And she was one of England's kind of leading stars as well at the time. So it's been difficult since because she's had injuries um, and, uh, and, and an illness as well, which a lot of um, a lot of people have been speaking about recently because she's sort of on the, on the way back now and on, on the journey to recovery, she's already up and running in, in the current WSL season. So I think we're going to see a bit of a kind of renaissance of Fran Kirby. Um, and so many people are excited to see her back playing because uh, she has had struggles. Um, she's spoken about her mental health as well as her phys physical health. So it was much deserved at the time and hopefully she'll be back in the, uh, in, in line for the for the award again, you know, in this coming season. Fran was described by former England coach Mark Sampson as a mini Messi. Is this an apt description of the way she plays? I think there's always a tendency, and everyone does it, to make those comparisons to the the men uh, men's game. But I think Fran is can be a tricky player to play. Um, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say that she is the, the Messi of, of women's football. I think she is a very talented player. Uh, she's a goal scorer. She's a tremendous finisher. And I think she perhaps used to play a bit more like Messi when Chelsea didn't have so many uh, talented players around her, perhaps. Now, because they've got such a strong midfield, she will be a bit more of a kind of enforcer and a finisher rather than being the one who's going to be taking the ball, you know, from the halfway line all the way into the box. Because Chelsea have midfielders like G, who was still playing at the time, who, who is that sort of player. She's a ball carrier. She, you know, she, she creates opportunities. She has assists. Whereas Fran doesn't necessarily play that role um, at Chelsea. So I, she's a talented player, but I think sometimes people people are very, um, they, they, they love making those comparisons. And she won the award when Chelsea won the title that year. So um, it, it kind of matched up with that. It was sort of, you know, they won the FA Cup as well. So it was like this double winning season for Chelsea. Fran played a massive part in that and, um, yeah, I think it was it was a, a great way for the women's award to be introduced. What what kind of um, interaction have you had with her outside of football? What what type of person is she? I've actually had quite a nice story about this. So last season, uh, I went to cover a game at Brighton. Um, they play at Crawley Stadium, and um, Brighton women were playing Chelsea, and I was working at the game. And when I arrived, one of the security guards at at Crawley was um, was a Chelsea fan, and he said, "Oh, is Fran Kirby going to be there? Be here today? I love her. She's my favourite player. She's amazing. Is she going to be here?" And I said, "Unfortunately, she's injured, so I don't think she's going to be travelling with the team today." And he was really gutted. So I tweeted afterwards saying, "You know, um, you know, lovely staff at Crawley today. Like, you know, one of the security guards even told me that Fran Kirby's his favourite player." Uh, and I think I added her, I can't remember if I did, on Twitter. And she actually DM'd me and said, who's, the, who's this guy? Do you know his name? Um, could you tell me his name and I'll try and send him some kit or some boots or something signed? I don't know if it ever happened. She said, I'll do my best. And I didn't actually know his name. So I, ran up, I rang up Crawley Town Football Club and said, look, this guy, this security guard at the, at the desk the other day, is a massive Chelsea fan. He loves Frank Kirby and she's actually tweeted me because she wants to send him something. Do you know his name? And I can't remember his name, but anyway, I sent it back to Fran and said, this is his name. Um, I guess if you just send it to the stadium or something, if you can, then he might get it. I'm not sure what happened because I, you know, you need to sort of follow up and normally someone posts something on social media to say thanks, but he might not have social media. So I think that was 
um, that is a, a prime example of the sort of person she is and, and the sort of character she has. And she's a really popular person in the women's football community. And she's really engaged with fans on social media. And she is a very honest person on social media. She's been posting about her struggles um, throughout the, the, the whole last year. And I think that's really important for other players to see that, to say that it is an opportunity to open up and be honest about some of the struggles that you're having.